Hello, everybody. This is Kimchi Crypto. Today, I'm going to talk about eight coins, especially old coins I bought to dip recently. Let's dig in. First, U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris reportedly merely Bitcoin 2024 conference appearance. In short, three U.S. presidential candidates, Kamala Harris, Donald Trump, and Mr. Kennedy, plus seven U.S. Senate members, all participating in Bitcoin conference now. Likely to participate in Bitcoin conference、um, this week. You might argue that why crypto price not moving around. Personally, I think this could be. The last chance to buy the dip, especially blue chip altcoins. I think now is the phase of uncertainty and doubt before the true bull market begins. Let me share my eight altcoins I bought during recent dip. First, Avalanche. Avalanche is the coin chosen by J.P. Morgan, Citibank, Korean conglomerates. Because of Avalanche subnet, subnet is to enhance the speed of the blockchain and security of the blockchain plus customization. Customization means they can develop、um, the Avex blockchain for their own purpose. They can add some features. They can delete some functions on their own. Avalanche is widely used for RWA, DeFi, and gaming sector, especially. The second coin that I bought the recent dip was XRP. XRP is reportedly the bridge currency of CBDCs on the globe. The future will come for sure. The reality is, SEC and Ripple are arguing about the penalty amount. In the lawsuit, it is very likely for that lawsuit lasted for which lasted for the three and a half years. It's going to be ended this year. I added a bit more. I didn't go all in on XRP though. Third crypto I bought the recent dip was Immutable X,、uh, aka IMX. Definitely, it's the number one. Blue chip altcoin, especially in game sector. It also is a、um, Ethereum layer two blockchain. Game and AI coins are especially very much undervalued right now, and I still think Immutable X is a must-have coin in your game portfolio. Fourth coin that I bought the recent dip was Near Protocol. It is. A、um, high-performance layer one blockchain plus AI backgrounds founders. It is part of 100,000 TPS plus very cheap transaction costs with good investors, good backers. I had a lot of near tokens and I added a lot during the recent dip. Fifth, Hello, blockchain. This is a、um, Low cap altcoin, and both、uh, USDC and USDT, both stable coins were launched on Chala platform. It was the originally layer one blockchain, but they decided to migrate from layer one to Ethereum layer two using Optimism (OP) stack. And the glamorous investors, including Coinbase Ventures, A16Z, Polychain Capital. Electra Capital, Jack Dorsey, Social Capital, founded by Chamath, they all invested in Chalo. I think this is one of those very much undervalued altcoins, especially in the low cap altcoin. Chalo price can go up exponentially, especially I think next year. Sixth coin that I bought the recent dip was Internet Computer. This is for sure the layer one blockchain with huge storage, and this storage is used can be used for NFT, metaverse, and even AI. 
and circulated ICP token is around 90%. And it is proud of its uh, good tokenomics, if you ask me. Internet computer was added in CMA crypto benchmark index recently, which means internet computer is not likely to go anywhere in the next five to 10 years. Seventh coin that I bought the recent dip was Chili's. Chili's is also a layer one blockchain, very much specialized in sports, especially football and NFTs. I think when the NFT and sports fi goes alive once again, I think it has a huge potential to go up. And Chili's was originally in the um, CMA crypto benchmark index as well. Eighth, Solana. I had some Solana tokens and I added a bit more during the recent dip. Solana is in line to be approved as next crypto spot ETF plus buy a denser upgrade with 1 billion plus transaction per second is coming this year. Would it better sell Solana before it reaches $1,000? Maybe late this year or early next year? Uh, my last message here is profit is only made when you sell. In my opinion, buying the dip is re relatively cheaper than selling at the high. Whatsoever promising coins, you need to buy low and you must sell when the price goes parabolic. But um, it sounds very easy, but buy the low, sell high, it's extremely difficult task. My suggestion to you is to set up your own standard of selling. When it goes like 10x or 20x or, or some indicators like RSI, SOPR, what's your standard? Because it is very important uh, before everything goes into the banana zone, if I set up my own standard of selling, I can sell the high, I can sell high and just exit the market. Because this is so much precious time, this could be your last opportunity to be that rich. Thank you for listening.